Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and today I'm gonna show you a few quick ways to fix the Outlook notification sound not working on Windows 11 in no time. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration is to enable the play a sound setting in Outlook. Now to do this, open up your Outlook mail app and then click on the file tab and afterwards click on options on the left pane. And now in here, make sure to head over to mail on the left pane in the new window. And the last thing you have to do is tick the box next to play a sound when new messages arrive. Now you can just click on OK and check if the problem still persists. Moving on, another useful solution is to tweak the Windows notification sound settings. Now to do this, press the Windows button, then select the settings icon, then click on system on the left pane, and then on the right side, select notifications as a category. Now in here, make sure to locate the Outlook application and first of all, turn the toggle to on next to it. And what you can do is go further by clicking on the Outlook application in the notification settings. Now make sure that the play a sound when a notification arrives is also ticked on. And afterwards you can close this window, restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. Moving on, another great solution is to disable focus assist. Now to do this, press the Windows button, then select the settings icon. Afterwards, click on system on the left pane and then on the right side, select the focus category. Now what you can do in here, if you have a focus assist on, make sure to just stop the focus session. Then you can just check if the problem still persists. And lastly, another useful solution is to tweak the system sound settings. Now to do this, press the Windows button, then simply type Control Panel and then select it from the search results. In here, in the Control Panel menu, select the sound category, then switch to the playback tab in the new window, then afterwards double click on your main speaker to open up its properties window. Afterwards, click on Advanced. And the last thing you have to do is tick the box next to allow applications to take exclusive control of this device. You can then click on OK to save the changes, then you can restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. And that's it! Super simple, isn't it? Of course, if this video helped you, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and have a nice day!